Hi, thanks for joining us. My name is Alex Campos, a worker solution engineer for Cloudera. And today I will talk about the Enterprise Data Cloud and how Cloudera Data Platform, or CDP, is helping companies to accelerate data and analytics adoption in their organization. Hope you enjoyed the session and feel free to reach out to us and send your questions. Okay, so let's take a look at the agenda. We we'll start with the Enterprise Data Cloud and how data management is not easy in this hybrid world. Uh, then we did dive in the Cloud Data Data Platform and different components and analytics capabilities of the platform. And we will finish with the SDX or shared data experience piece of the platform that is uh, an important component where related to security and governance. So uh, let's talk about this enterprise data cloud. Companies, when implement cloud data lakes, they have uh, different requirements uh, regarding uh, privacy, compliance, and regulation. So when they move the data and the analytics to the, to the cloud, they need to make sure they have audit capabilities, uh, things like a lineage to track the data and, and the different workloads. Also make sure that the, they, have, they have the right access to the right uh, users or groups, and also have uh, a unique uh, uh, data catalog that is spread between or across different environments. Also, uh, really important is to enable uh, an active management. That means uh, replicate the data across uh, environments, so uh, they can have data uh, on, on premises, but also in, in cloud vendors or, or in cloud deployments. Uh, also, enrich the, the metadata with attacks, create the data, and add some kind of business, uh, gloss, uh, business grocery. On, on top of the uh, technical metadata. And also uh, really important to manage the workloads to optimize the costs in the cloud. So uh, data management uh, is not easy in this hybrid world. Why? Because data is spread all over different uh, uh, environments. Not only cloud, but also private cloud on premises and sometimes in edge devices. So uh, it is important to uh, understand that uh, integrate these different platform, it can be a challenge and uh, companies should be uh, aligned with the different strategies how to implement these uh, hybrid solutions that is, uh, is, is spread between uh, multi-cloud and on-premises environment. So uh, how Cloud Data Data Platform is helping companies to overcome this challenge. So um, Cloudera Data Platform, or CDP, is uh, the first enterprise data cloud. That means you can deploy an end cloud with your data, so or you can choose the, uh, the public cloud or, or, or the data center for uh, deploy the platform or, or the, the different projects you have. Um, uh, CDP also support the complete data life cycle. That means uh, the edge to AI ingest data from different data source in real time or batch mode, and also bring the data uh, to machine learning and AI. Also, uh, the platform is fully secure and governed. That means the data uh, and, the, and all the metadata is being tracked uh, by the different users and workloads, and also uh, things related to lineage and provenance of the data. And finally, uh, it's an open source uh, platform, uh, leverage open standards. Uh, so it's pr pretty easy to integrate with different uh, 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 external platforms using the open APIs. Um, so the, the idea behind the CDP or Cloud Data Data Platform is to support the complete data lifecycle of uh, for the for the for the company, so ingest data from different uh, data sources like uh, IoT devices, uh, ATMs, trucks, uh, also uh, batch data as well, and then enrich that data in a second step, so we can create uh, uh, data sets that be used maybe for reporting, like a data warehousing, or for uh, data discovery. 
Also, the data can be used for operational database or transaction database to serve the data in high concurrency with different applications. And uh, as a final step, uh, take the advantage of the uh, advanced techniques like machine learning and AI to predict uh, business outcomes using that data. All these different stages uh, is strong underpinning by uh, SDX that we give us all the security, governance, and management capabilities uh, in the different stages of the, the data lifecycle. Uh, CDP or, uh, is uh, mainly supported by this uh, Como uh, or Core Cloudera uh, runtime. That is the, the, the combination of the legacy distribution, HDP and uh, CDH. Then on top of this um, Cloudera runtime, we enable the, the different uh, analytics uh, experience. So uh, all things related to data ingestion, data engineering, data warehouse, and so on. Uh, and we have a common layer to manage metadata, uh, uh, schemas, and security and governance on top of the data. And the platform can be deployed in uh, different infrastructure. and can be on-premises, private cloud, hybrid, uh, hybrid, hybrid cloud, or multi-public cloud. On the uh, right side, we have the control plane capabilities that we give us a unique uh, data catalog from the different environments. Also, replication capabilities to move the data across uh, the environments. And also, uh, workload manager to have visibility of the, the workloads and how we can optimize them with uh, elastic computing. Uh, CDP comes in two form factors, but it's only one platform. So we have the same core, the, the Cloudera runtime, and uh, we can choose to deploy the, the platform in the public cloud as a platform, as a service, in the cloud vendor of your choice. But also we have the chance to uh, install the platform in our data center. So we have the traditional way to install in bare metal or virtual machines, but also extend these uh, limited uh, capabilities or infrastructure with uh, CDP uh, experience that we run on Kubernetes on-premises. So uh, with this combination of these uh, different uh, technologies and way to deploy uh, CDP, now the companies uh, have much more flexibility uh, uh, to choose the, the right infrastructure to the right uh, workloads. So uh, CDP uh, for on-premises, we have this uh, Cloudera runtime that is the combination of uh, CDH and HDP. Uh, so it's one platform, one core that is uh, shared uh, between the different uh, form factors. For the uh, data center, we have CDP private cloud base that uh, enables the ISDX layer, uh, often related to security and governance, and the data storage that can be uh, the traditional HDFS or also uh, Ozone that is uh, on-premise object storage, the same te technology you have in the cloud vendor. Uh, and to complement this uh, infrastructure, uh, we can run and leverage uh, workloads and, and as experience and using the uh, containers of Kubernetes. So, um, those experience uh, can be related to data warehouse, machine learning, data engineering, and so on. So we have the, the complete separation of compute and storage in this type of deployment. And the uh, CDPA public cloud, uh, uh, it can be deployed in the, in, in the cloud vendor of your choice. So we use the different uh, infrastructure and platform service from the, from the cloud vendor to deploy the, the CDP public cloud. It is a cloud optimized architecture. That means we enable the same SDX uh, layer to secure the data, but we use the native uh, cloud storage or cloud object storage of the cloud vendor. So we use S3, ADLS, or GCS. And the workloads can run in two, time, in two types. It can be a data hub service, that is the traditional way to deploy nodes, uh, the same way you can use uh, for on-premises. 
And also uh, the new way to deploy experience, the, an ephemeral experience using containers or containers from the the, for the public cloud. So uh, we can run the same uh, data warehouse, machine learning, and data engineering uh, workloads, but in this case using uh, containers that will give us all the uh, outscaling and on-demand capabilities uh, native from the, from the cloud. So um, with the different uh, uh, form factors, we can build this hybrid multi cloud uh, architecture. That means we can combine the different form factors to uh, move the data uh, between or across the different uh, infrastructure to liberate the right infrastructure uh, to, to the workload. So we can complement our limited uh, uh, on-premises or data center infrastructure uh, using the public cloud and use on-demand service from the cloud vendor. Uh, so for example, we can use uh, we can move uh, data to train a uh, machine learning model uh, to the public cloud and then use containers to uh, run Spark jobs. Or also we can uh, enable some kind of uh, data discovery initiatives in the public cloud using uh, also containers. And then uh, with outscaling and uh, on-demand service, the, uh, we can... Uh, So if CDP companies now have a strategy to implement hybrid and multi-cloud analytics, uh, combining the different uh, form factors uh, of the platform. So they can have some kind of on-premises environment with CDP private cloud base, also complement this uh, infrastructure with uh, private cloud uh, experience that we run on Kubernetes for, but in an on-premises environment and also move the data or replicate the data to the public cloud to also extend the uh, infrastructure capabilities to a cloud vendor. So we can combine the different form factors to build this hybrid and multi cloud environment. The use case can be many. For example, you can move your data to the public cloud to train some kind of uh, machine, learning, machine learning model with on-demand uh, infrastructure, uh, in this case, containers. We can also uh, enable uh, data discovery and reporting in the public cloud using the, our data warehouse experience. So users can run SQL uh, queries uh, on top of that data and run some kind of drill down or data discovery, uh, explore the data. That's the idea. So that's why uh, companies right now are choosing CDP to build this hybrid and multi cloud architecture because move the data and the metadata between these uh, different uh, infrastructure is an easy task today with the uh, different capabilities of the platform. So I want to explain more about this SDX component I have been talk about throughout the presentation. So with SDX, we have a common way to access the data. What that means, we can store our data in the public cloud and the object storage like S3, ADLS, or GCS. Or if I'm working in an on-premise environment, we store the data in the HDFS or Ozone. So the different stages or the different workloads of our data lifecycle will access the same context, the same metadata, the same security policies. So if I'm uh, running a Spark job to enrich my, my data in a data engineering experience, or if a business user is running a SQL statement to explore the data and do some kind of data exploration, and if uh, a data scientist is access the data to uh, be used in a to train a machine learning model, they are uh, access the same the same layer, the same SDX component. So with SDX, we make sure that the the different workloads we have the different workloads and user we have the same context of the data. So uh, some of the features we, uh, that comes 
with uh, SDX, we have uh, one uh, a unique data catalog that we combine the technical metadata and also the business glossary enriching you know our data schemas that we have in the in the data lake. We also have uh, replication capabilities to move the data across the different components and also the metadata and security policies. And uh, the, the security aspects like uh, access the data uh, to different uh, resources or different object, objects of our data lake, also mask the data and uh, have some kind of raw filters uh, depend of the users and groups and all the things related to uh, governance, things like audit and lineage to make sure that the, our data is being used in the different workloads. Uh, so with, uh, here we have uh, an example. We have a data flow experience in just data. It can be a real-time data. That data is being enriched using the data engineering pro uh, experience. And then we use the machine learning experience. Uh, uh, data scientist is trained a model using the different uh, data sets of this uh, data pipeline. So with SDX, we have the complete traceability, the complete uh, traceability of the data in the different stages of our uh, data lifecycle. So a brief recap to finish the presentation. Uh, so with Cloudera Data Platform, we can support the complete data lifecycle. What that means, we can uh, ingest the data from different data sources, uh, enrich our data, make the data available for reporting and uh, visual applications like business intelligence, uh, serve our operational data, and also uh, support the data science initiatives to predict uh, business behavior or business out outcomes with this data. So uh, this can be deployed or can be uh, run off on cloud on your data center uh, with a comp layer that is SDX to support all the uh, different uh, security aspects when access and serving the data. So uh, with the unique capabilities of the, the CDP, now companies can uh, manage the data and analytics and different infrastructure. So we support the complete data lifecycle, the different stages from the edge from the edge to AI. Uh, we are a hybrid and multi-cloud uh, platform, so we can deploy and both on-premises and multi-cloud environments. It's a fully secure and governed platform. What that means that uh, all the security aspects and compliance uh, regarding the data. Uh, it can be uh, fulfilled with the platform. It's an open source platform with open standards, so it's pretty easy to integrate and complement with uh, other uh, uh, components. And also, it's a platform. It's not a point, point solution. That means that uh, all the uh, different workloads and uh, analytics capabilities can be enabled in the platform. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the session. Uh, feel free to read out to me, send your questions, and uh, see you around. Thank you.